Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 Minute Friday. Today we're going to demonstrate to you the wrinkles to the clothing really enhances a carving, whether it's a character carving or a realistic carving. And so we're going to demonstrate today on old Santa Claus here. And uh, we're just only going to do this with a knife of uh, putting wrinkles in. And you know, the thing is, is I, I was teaching a class a while back and they said, well, how did you come about this? I really don't know how I came about this. I was just practicing one day and, but I'm using a rolling technique on these carvings and I'm rotating my wrist to the left here and it takes practice. I've had people in class just uh, take their turns and say, you know what, I just want to learn this uh, and not uh, do anything else today. And I said, well, all right. But uh, learning this, it just takes a little time, a little effort, but practicing. And so uh, we're putting these little wrinkles on his coat and uh, you, you can't do it very good on uh, a flat, semi-flat surface like uh, his robe coming down here. We could try, we might be able to get a few little ones in if the wood will let us. You can see there it's letting us do a little bit. But when you paint this, this will really bring your carving to life. And especially when you dry brush on uh, the white to give him a frosty look or whatever, or worn look on the clothes. And, um, and one or two of these cuts may not work well. Well, just stop and, and work it out and, and uh, thin it out. And if you get to a point in your wood here where it's tearing, stop and go the other direction and take smaller cuts. Because if you think, well, just take a big cut and I'll get rid of it. Uh, nine times out of 10, you'll get into more trouble there. Uh, so just take your, take small cuts through here. And see, the wood's not gonna let us do that on this particular area of his body, so. But right here at the elbow, we'll put some wrinkles here and we just turn and turn and turn. And turn and turn. And so you'll see that there on the camera, hopefully. And you can see there how we're turning the knife. And again, just practice. Um, on a piece and uh, you'll be surprised uh, how well and how fast um, you'll be able to put wrinkles. Same thing on the hat here. You can do the same thing on his hat. Break up that hat and uh, that way you can um, put some action there in that hat that he's wearing. Even a cowboy hat or any type of hat you can uh, that you're going to be carving on your figure. So, And again, this takes a little practice. Um, some people pick it right up, some people it takes a little while, so don't be impatient with it. So just enjoy, and just little, don't go in there very hard. Just get the blade of that uh, knife blade up against that wood and just start twisting. It's kind of like an ice cream cone, twist it. See how it's making some nice, nice wrinkles in that hat. All right, so I think that's about it as far as this guy right here now, but uh, we want to always always look over your carving. If you need to put an extra wrinkle here or there to kind of balance it out, you can. But uh, every wrinkle is not going to be the same on every coat and every sleeve, so have fun with it. And so um, this will probably wrap this up on this five-minute uh, uh, section of this uh, Five Minute Friday, and so we appreciate you joining us, and uh, please like it, the video, and leave a comment below, and uh, we'll see you soon. Happy, happy carving to you.